All right, people. This is just going to be a quick like collage on a bit of machining on making these. See, it's a simple to most people. It's a simple washer. Yeah. I'll we'll have to make a few of them because another fabrication I know wants some. You can't actually buy something like this. This is five millimeters thick, a one inch precision hole, no, a half inch precision hole through the middle, chamfered. And what we use these for, or what I designed these for, is the radius arm mounts. And when you look through some of the videos, you'll see them. It's the adjuster for the radius arm. So if we take a walk into my machine shop, probably gonna be a bit dark for you now but if I get this is a radius arm pin for a minute so this is half inch yeah and a mini shaft is half inch yeah so there's no play at all Nice, smooth, oh, half inch. And this will have a stud welded on it or shaft or something with two nuts. <coughs> and it runs through something like this. And that's what we make the adjust, adjustment out of. And basically all that is there is to push up and down. But it's covering a lot of area. Which makes it that little bit stronger, better. Right then. So I'm just gonna add this little video, a little bit of machining and stuff. So you can see just how long it takes to make a washer, which is simple. One washer. And I've had to make a lot of them. Bye. I hope you enjoy. Very often you get to use this thing. So I start off with a bit of 40 mil bar. I'll turn it down. So this was in the other way, which I'll show you. I'm tricky one handy. That's not up. So this was in. that way right then I dolled it in center punched it with one of them then put my live center on the end and machined stopped dropped this on piloted it drilled it to half inch as far as I can go then I had to spin it over Yeah, clamped it in, locked it in, centered it, piloted it, drilled it. So now that is half inch all the way. So now what I'm going to do is take this out, like that, get rid of that. There we go. The live center has got to go back in. Yeah, so that will have to go there now. This will get done up. Got to take the center study off, put this in, and then finish the OD. And this is going to go in the saw and go chop, 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 chop. I need like 32 of them because somebody wants to buy four sets. All right, so what I'll do is I'll set this off with you watching and we'll go from there, yeah? Right, I'm back. All right, so. I'm on like 35 mil, we're at 3501. I really do need to change the battery in this. So we need to take off another two and a half mil.
off the belt. It should be about a minute left to come up. Thirty-five point eight. Point eight left to come off. So we'll go five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I'm going to be precise. They are only washes. Should be about eight minutes left to come off. Five millimeters each. So I'm not going to cut this yet because seven way too warm. And all that will do is damage your bandsaw blades. Yeah. Barely feel. So we're at 34.95, 34.95. close enough for me, people. Right, I'm back in the shop today. It's a different day. First thing I'm gonna do is get this chopped up where it's nice and cold. Yeah, put a new blade in the bandsaw. So, Let's get chopping. It might take a while. Right. So there's the article. And I've left the washer. So this is that yeah so once it's cold I'm just gonna chop 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 all this up and these are half inch and this will fit onto the radius arm pin beautiful job So what I do once I've chopped them in the saw, I bring them over, put them on my sander. Just slowly buff them. To get rid of the saw lines. Right then. So what we're going to do, we we'll put one of these on the back. Really it's going to stay there. Hours. We'll get another one. Get in front of Look. If you look at them before I sanded them, Look that bad. Nip it up. Yeah. Shampoo yeah. the end. 
time off. Just touch. See the saw lines? Even though you can barely feel them, I just like to bust them out as much as I can. So they'll slide easier when you adjust them. Right. Just keep going until they get as little as possible. It does get a bit warm under your fingers, I'm not going to lie. Okay.